Fi Fine is doing it again. We have a new Fi Fine microphone for all my tickets and gamers out there who've been following Fi Fine and following me on this channel with all the Fi Fine and microphone reviews. Today is a day where I start spitting. What? You're about to be introduced to something new if you haven't checked and looked online already. What are we talking about? We're talking about this right here that you're looking at right now. The Fi Fine AmpliTank Tank 3 XLR and USB-C dynamic microphone for your gaming, your streaming, your podcasting, YouTube content creation, such as this. And looking at the body of this awesome microphone, we have a full metallic heavy metal rock build of a microphone. That's right. Now, this is a relatively new and refreshing look of microphone style on this channel. USB XLR in the upper tier bracket. And I'm talking about more costly, more professional looking, supposedly overall more than the Fifine AM8 and the Fifine K688. That's right. And probably your other USB condenser microphones as well in their lineup. This may be their flagship new microphone. All right, Techies and Gamers, here we are with the Fifine AmpliTank Tank 3 USB XLR microphone. Now let's see what we get in our awesome box. I mean, it looks like a very plain box actually. Wondering what's going on with Fifine with their change of uh, design in their boxes here. Cutting corners, cutting costs. Hey, that's fine with me as long as I don't cut costs on the production of the device. And speaking of which, right off the rip, when you open the box, you get your instructions, obviously, is what you want in your life. If you've never actually used a USB and XLR microphones with the features built into this, then this is what you're going to need to get yourself started. Now, is this a booklet or a open up a huge poster pamphlet? Yep, a pamphlet, a very large pamphlet. All right, so get yourself set up on your laptop, your PC, your Mac. That weight right here is indicative of quality, I hope, All right? This is cold metal to the touch nice weight here the weight is right there this is how much the device weighs look at it look at the weight nice matte finish here oh this feels fantastic and it is not a fingerprint magnet unless you eat fried chicken right before you record what i like this singular arm bracket right here as opposed to the u bracket that typically comes with these devices and it feels sturdy nice and sturdy on that axis right there no wobble factor whatsoever very nice um this of course you have your nice little knob right here for tightening this arm bracket and does it get pretty tight this is something i like to look at tight but not so tight that it doesn't budge at all so good on that i feel like there's like a kind of a rubber gasket here it doesn't allow you to over tighten five eighths inch tread there as well as if you look into the cavernous hole there you will see that it also accepts a 3 8 inch so this will fit most if not all typical boom arms nice small but subtle five fine branding here awesome i do like that it's not so bold and big along the side so pretty sleek nice gray right as opposed to being black gray mesh where the capsule sits behind. Not sure how far up that capsule is up on that front piece. And just a singular little toggle button here. I presume that is absolutely a mute button. And on the side here, we have, of course, our gain control as well as our monitoring control. So with that, you know that on the bottom, you will have your monitoring port, of course. And you have your XLR and USB-C. This is a cardioid dynamic microphone. And I think this is probably one of Five Fine's most expensive microphones they have to date. And well, I'm expecting premium quality because the AMA is about 50, 60 bucks, depending when you buy it. And yeah, well, let's see if we're getting that same USB-C as well as XLR quality as the AMA. I am hoping better. Looks like we only get a USB-C to USB-A cable here, and it looks like it's pretty long. Look at all of that slack it gives you with the Velcro strap. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and take this out for a nice little drive around the block. All right, now here we are with the AmpliTank Tank 3 in USB mode. And this is the audio quality. Now off first impressions, I will say that over, over the monitoring, the audio is 
isn't so loud in my headset. It's low in my monitoring, but looking in uh, OBS here, I'm way up in the red. So the audio quality is actually probably over recording and over your stream is going to be louder. This is the close proximity of USB one inch away from, I guess, where the capsule sits. You can't really see. It is a internal screen filter. That's right for mitigating plosives, hisses, and that sort of thing. So we'll get into that in a second. But overall, I think the crispiness in this is not so much, but that's just in my headset. So what I'm going to do is do a playback and let you know what I think about that USB audio. More moments later. Listening to that USB audio and playback, I feel like the EQ, if you wanted to use a visualizer of what the EQ would look like, at least for my hearing abilities, it seems pretty flat across the board. There isn't like a boost in the highs, so you don't get that high end highs. And there's also not a lot of bass and the midtones are kind of like right where you need them to be. This is kind of like a clean slate sort of EQ. Sounds good, don't get me wrong. I do like the sound and sometimes I don't like so much bass in my audio where it's, it creates like a rumble. So if you're worried about like creating some kind of rumble in your audio via USB-C with this microphone, you won't get that. The bass level is not so high, but the presence, the vocal presence boost in that mid range, it is there and it sounds pretty good. Lackluster in the monitoring could use a little bit of a boost in the monitoring. I can't hear it so much, but in recording, as you can see right here, this is raw audio. It's pretty good. The noise floor of this microphone appears to sound pretty low. What does this off axis rejection sound like? So that's also another part of mitigating noise outside of your vocals that's coming from the sides or behind it. So let's see what that sounds like. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is about 90 degrees off axis. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that was about, I don't know, less than a foot away from it. Let's talk to the back of the microphone. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the noise off axis and noise levels it picks up. Testing of the mute button, which is on top. It stays lit up when you're on USB mode. So once you click that, it will go into mute and your LED will turn uh, red. Back on and you are on. So what does that click sound like? Because sometimes I'm a little bit finicky. And as some of you are out there as well, with those hard, loud clicking sounds on microphones. It's actually, it's actually kind of a soft button there. It's not a hard plasticky, hard click. Minor, so I can't give that a drawback actually. Starting with plosives. Now I know everyone loves plosives on my channel because I'm just ridiculous with it, but let's do it off axis from your mouth and then we're gonna do it straight into the microphone. Ready? Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. That doesn't sound so bad in my ears actually. Um, not a lot of plosives feedback, but also my gain is pretty low coming out of this monitoring port. But let's do it directly into it. Ready? Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. Yeah, you get some, but the mitigation of plosives is actually good considering I'm blowing my air directly into a capsule, a microphone that has no external wind muff or kind of pop filter. So pretty good on the plosive. It is working. It's magic. Hisses. Here we go. Caesar ate a salad with snakes and serpents inside of his shorts in a sauna. Caesar ate his salad with snakes in a sauna wearing shorts with Susie. Very good sibilance control. Impressive, I find, with your plosives and your hissing. Pretty good. 
here we are over XLR over XLR and I will say that the audio has amplified tenfold my goodness the gain I am now getting that nice loud crispy monitoring gain in my ears this is XLR no filters no audio distortion or mitigation or editing nothing done this is raw XLR at 100% everywhere and this is the audio quality I can actually stand back now that amplifier is picking me up at a nice distance off the rip I'm gonna have to I have to say that it sounds better than USB mode simply because the gain has picked up this is getting very crispy audio and I hear the bass is, is a little better it's not as much bass as I'm typically used to that mid-range and high range is nice hear that crispiness this will be a fantastic ASMR microphone because it picks up every little bobby and crispiness. What? What's wrong with me? If I were to use it over XLR, this would be fantastic because I'm not so bound to the microphone. I can kind of sit back and still get that crispiness and that gain pickup. This is the noise pickup via XLR. It's going to pick stuff up right now. I'm sure it's picking up my fans. Off axis testing one, two, three, four, five at 90 degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. That was pretty good mitigation of plosives at this level of gain. Impressiveness is just keeps happening back to back. <laughs> Now, what I'd like to do is um, test this with some noise suppression to see what this sounds like because right now it's picking up my fans and if I bump up that gain. On the count of three, we're about to apply some noise suppression. Here we are at a decent level of gain over XLR and some noise suppression applied and i am talking relatively close to the capsule right here what do you think tech is gamers wow fine fine what are you doing in that who's teaching you this stuff this is master level stuff at a nice price range wow so who needs a 500 hundred dollar microphone when you can just purchase yourself an awesome 100 hundred dollar microphone and get that pro level pro wow but even the word pro sounds professional i love this microphone already whoa what's going on five fine has done it once again with another fantastic microphone option in their lineup i dare say and i dare it say it loud and proud that this is their flagship dynamic usb microphone professional looking for podcasting streaming anything of that nature that doesn't need or sh probably shouldn't have a lot of RGB in it, right? Because this is just a flat black matte to the back <laughs> the color here, metallic full metal build. Awesome. All right, let's talk about some things. One, the build, the makeup. I love it. I love that it's sleek, it's pretty narrow. It's not really on the thick side, low profile, nice matte black, heavy metal construction all around for all intents and purposes this is nice including that single arm bracket that ties you up here to the top of your boom arm this is kind of nice and takes away from some of the weight that the mic could potentially have because of that reduction in metal right so nice thinking there i like it audio coming out of box via usb pretty decent i would say that's a, a lot more subdued um, you're missing a lot of that crispiness on the high ends, the presence boost, the gain is obviously a lot lower over USB, but the audio still sounds good. So if you're using this via USB over a computer, your PC, gaming, this will be fantastic over USB. There is no external, I guess, software to manage your EQ levels, for example. So you're just kind of stuck with whatever the profile is over USB, unless you're using like some third party to uh, adjust the equalizer if you're doing it live and well in post you can just adjust the audio 
accordingly. XLR, this is an XLR king, professional in every respect. Uh, when you control your gain levels and you're sitting at a right distance, I think this is an okay distance right here, you're gonna get some pretty decent XLR crispy audio coming out of this microphone. Right now I've killed all noise suppression and what you're getting is fantastic XLR audio. The only thing I can say that might give it a nine, 0.5 out of 10 on XLR is that the bass is not as rich as I would like it to be. My only complaint via USB as well as XLR. If you don't need all that bass, if you're not singing or playing a bass guitar or something like that, then this is the microphone for you. The noise rejection is another pro. That noise rejection coming off the side, 90 degrees, 180 degree off axis speaking is good when you're using this microphone in XLR or even USB. USB is even more because, well, USB in and of itself, it's already subdued. So you're gonna get more, even more superior off axis. XLR, that thing just opens up. Well, techies and gamers, you're welcome. If you were thinking about getting a pro level microphone and were hesitant to jump off the bridge and spend 250 to $500 on a microphone, a pro level studio microphone, then I just saved you some money with introducing this microphone to you. Techies and gamers, pay attention. And if you're interested in this device, check the links in the description. All that stuff is down there. You click those links, you can get yourself a nice little discount. Affiliate links alert, that's right. Because, well, I'm a Fifine affiliate and one hand washes the other. You use that link, I give you a little bit of a discount off of this microphone. Techies and gamers, and that's how we work in here, right? One hand washes the back of the hand. What? Opinions and reviews of any products here are of my own, so I pretty much say what I feel about these. Ultimately, I decide whether it's a go or a no. This is definitely a go, so much a go that, well, I'll be using this going forward a little bit for a while. Combo killer, yeah, baby. That's how you do it, even though I almost died. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, as soon as I get a stim in my arm.